What's going on, everybody? Today, we're going to be doing a lot of different things. Happy New Year to the guys that are watching this on New Year's Eve. Um, you know, this guy, Calvin Johnson, bro. You know, th this guy right here really makes me upset, and I don't know why. All of a sudden, I just went into a rage. Maybe it's because I turned Madden on. I don't know what happened, but he has to go, and it's as simple as that. And, you know, has he been doing well for me? Yeah. You know what I'm saying, bro? Has he been over the top? No. So, you know, at some point, guys, don't be scared to make a decision. Um, with your team, you know, like I said, unless you're a guy that you know You do this because you want to have the best team and everybody at every position is like, you know That number one guy and you really have no real reasoning behind what you do other than having the best team for whatever reason Maybe it's a lack of size in your pants, whatever it is I don't know what it is, but I got to do what's best for me and what's best for my team so regardless of what people recommend um, you know in certain certain instances I will ask for advice uh, but for most part, you know, for the most part, I don't really care. So we got rid of Calvin Johnson. All right, so what are we going to do here? I was looking at Martavis Bryant. I don't know why his first name is Martavis. You know, Marcus would have just been fine. Just a thought. But I'm going to tell you this right now. All he has is one more in speed. Uh, plus one. I think it's like 94, 94. And I think this, the 20,000 one is what, 93, 94? So it's not a big plus. You know what I'm saying? As far as the way it goes, acceleration is really what matters. How fast they get to their top speed. So... I don't think that it was really in my best interest to spend, you know, 40,000 more coins for one point of speed. It just didn't make any sense to me. So, you know, I want to go ahead and compare him real quick to Kevin White because that's really what, you know, Kevin White is really, you know, pretty much a beast. So, you know, I've used this card before, Martavis Bryant, and um, Rage sold him a while back. But I think that the way that I was using him wasn't the right way. So we brought him back uh, for a contract extension. I brought him into my office. Uh, upon you know him sitting down in the seat we had like a um it was like a spike seat you know what i'm saying so uh he immediately started to bleed from his butt cheeks and then you know we we went over some things and uh you know hydroperoxide on his butt cheeks and now he's all set so um if you guys don't know or this is the first time you're watching one of my videos i do a lot of mean things to my cards or my players before i release them so when i bring them back i have to let them know what they're getting into so i do mean things like that you know it's a little joke uh, a little bit of hiv spikes you know he may get aids he may not things like that so we're gonna see how that lasts but we're gonna also get rid of Doriel Green Beckham this guy's garbage um, I, you know everybody drops the ball for no reason so you gotta really try to find people that are able to hold on to it and um, I really think that you know I had to just get rid of him he wasn't really doing the job that I wanted so what I'm gonna do right now I'm gonna, I'm gonna beef up my safeties because my safeties have been really screwing me over you know I use Atwater a lot in Madden 15 um, he was pretty decent in this game he's a lot better than he was in Madden 15. So it works for me. You know what I'm saying? I was looking at some of his stats, whatever. You know, 6-3 is not bad being there in the outfield. I like it. You know what I'm saying? So we're going to go with that. We're going to see what he could do here um, in that secondary. I'm going to try him out uh, in some gameplay in a second. Um, we're going to go ahead and add him, add him into the lineup. I think I had like Ballantyne or something, some 61 overall guy starting there. I just didn't care, bro. I got him in a pack and I just used him. I didn't care who was my safeties. I actually won a lot of games with him. Um, so it is what it is. I should be able to do a lot better with Steve Atwater being a new addition to the team. So we're going to go on and see what he has. Just take a quick look. Spec catch is 79. That's not bad. He'll be able to do some things in the outfield. All right, Mark Barron, uh, Campus Heroes. Uh, let's. We, we got to see what he's about. You know what I'm saying, bro? Hit, pop, oh, hit power is 99, bro. If he touches you, you die instantly like he's a warlock. So we're going to go ahead and uh, pick him up. I, I think I'm going to pick him up because... Um, I just liked his stats, man. I like that his background was mad red. You know what I'm saying, bro? So I'm going to go ahead and just pick him up. For that sole reason is why I picked him up. I just like the background. So we're going to go ahead and take him um, and see how he works out. So now that my secondary is beefed up, I'm not saying that they're supposed to do anything. Don't get me wrong. Don't don't make. I don't want you guys to misconstrue the fact that I'm thinking that they're going to pick the ball when somebody aggressive catches me from out of space. That's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying I want guys with more intelligence in the outfield because Amos is a complete douchebag, and he was getting dotted up. So this guy right here, A. Amos, he was getting dotted up on a regular basis. That dude, Valentine, need to do something with his hair, bro. It's all effed up. He need to wash it, do something like, you know, put it in a ponytail. Um, but we're gonna go ahead and put Mark Barron at strong safety, and we're gonna leave Atwater at free. Um, and we're gonna see how they work out. Obviously, you're taking a look at the defense the way it is right now. If you watch my previous videos, you will understand why my lineup is the way that it is right now. If you haven't watched it, slap yourself across the face, hit the sub button and go through the videos, you know, go through the videos and take a look at them and I'm pretty sure you'll enjoy them. Right here, we're gonna give you some gameplay. Just give you an idea of if they make a difference, if they don't uh, in, the, in, in the secondary. Um, obviously, it's very, very hard to know 
because a lot of the traits that they have don't really matter. Um, you know, I've tested out awareness and I've put the dumbest idiots at safety and they play it the same way, no matter what. So maybe the hit power may come into play, but I don't think about, I don't think so either with that because I had a guy with like 40 hit power causing fumbles all the time. I don't even know what DRC's hit power is, but I have videos where he just knocked the hell out of people, the 84 overall DRC, he just knocked the hell out of people and they fumbled. So I don't really know. Um, right here, I'm about to say, you got to shoestring him. He's right there. Um, I really don't know exactly what I, you know, where I'm going with it, like what I want to do as far as keeping my safeties, but I'm going to test them out. I'm going to see how they do, but I, I don't want to get you guys hopes up and make you think that the reasoning behind me doing it is because I think that somebody's going to pick the ball. I know in my heart that they're never going to pick the ball. That's not what it's about anymore. Right now, it's just about, you know, having people out there that you think can make a play. You think. You know what I'm saying? And um, yeah, my team is like 83 overall now. Um, last week it was 81. Um, I don't really care about it. And I played a lot of stack teams, guys that, you know, gave their firstborn for their Madden team and stuff like that. And I beat most of them. Some of them got me. It doesn't really matter. You know what I'm saying? As, as far as overalls go, it's about how you're playing the game. And, um, you know, pretty much a lot of the guys just come out, run two-man QB contain, and uh, they just put the controller down and walk away. You know, that, 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 that to be honest, that's what they do. It, it's, it's nothing... It's nothing else that that's going on other than that. They they play two man QB contain, place their joystick down lightly, go into a dark room and beat their meat. Like I don't understand how this has been going on for so long. Like it's so crazy. But I had to show this right here. Look at the detail of his hair. That really looks good, bro. That's some really good. They usually look like a like a a block. You know, like how Chris Johnson dreads like a one block. That was individually wrapped corn rolls. I want to give EA Sports kudos for that, bro, for showing some, some, you know, showing some respect that everybody doesn't have ridiculous looking dreadlocks like Chris Johnson, like it's a block stuck together. That that was some. I don't even know if Driarch's hair, hair looked like that, but that was some. If they were gonna draw me, I would like them to give me some nice hair too. That that was hot. I, I like that, so I had to put that in there so you know I could give EA Sports credit for that, man. That's good detail. Um, now if they just patch aggressive catching forever, I love them. Uh, but either way, it's um. You know, pretty much at this point right now, all we're trying to do right now is just see if our safeties can really do something. Obviously, things are going to happen regardless. And I'm running a new scheme, by the way. And it's different from the scheme I was running the last time I streamed. So I change up what I'm doing on a regular basis. I don't, I don't like to keep everything the same because, you know, everybody gets used to what you're doing. And then, you know, people are, are lurking you in the stream to play you. And then they know exactly what's going on. So, and, you know, it's funny to me because when I run into a lot of the guys that, that lurk me, they're pretty much running most of the stuff that I do. And I don't really care about that, but it just makes it um, more prevalent for me to always be changing what I'm doing. What the hell is that? Well, that's okay. Randy Gregory's back. Okay, good, good, good. I'm about to say because I put Vic Beasley in, in the last video. And then if you watch the last video, you would know that he was demoted. Um, if you watch the last video and you're watching this video, shoot me a message. Shoot me a message on Twitter and tell me you got a double dose of G Maya. Just say, just say you got a double dose. So I can know that dudes is really out here watching both videos. And I can see who's really out here trying to do that thing. You dig? Um, right here, I'm trying to throw a pick at the end of the half, and that's what I do. I'm not I'm not mad at Russell Wilson because I have him in the game simply for the fact that I just changed my whole scheme. This game has really changed me as a man. Um, it, it makes me very, very uh, cognizant of the fact that nothing that I usually do, does works and a lot, and just expect a lot of stuff that's bad to happen to you when you play. And that's all you can really expect. You know, you can't really look for anything else that's gonna be going on. Um, I was I was aggressive catch on a regular basis um, yesterday in stream um, in the quadruple coverage. It, it was really exciting. It really turned me on, you know? So I don't want to get to the point, you know, get to the point where I'm really just going crazy. So I change up the stuff a lot. So that way it's new. You know what I'm saying? Like if you if you just want to keep going in there and um, you know, I'm, I'm getting analyzed by EA on a regular basis, they're not taking me to dinner, they're not doing anything, they're just doing me dirty. At least if I change it up in my mind, it's something different. You know what I'm saying? In my mind, we went to dinner first. In my mind, they bought me a box of chocolates. You know what I'm saying? We all know they won't, but it is what it is. And Martavius Bryant, see, that's what I'm saying. I saved 40000 and the other one would have did exactly the same thing that this one's doing. You know what I'm saying? So why would I spend money for the 88? Doesn't really make any sense. But like I said, to each its own. Um, it doesn't really matter what you guys decide to do. Uh, I just try to give you guys advice along the way. Whichever way you guys choose to go, uh, you know, it's solely up to you. But it does seem to work for me. Um, to have, you know, you don't really have to spend the money on cards that, you know, when you have uh, various cards and they're very similar. Just, just, oh, look at that. You see how they glitched me up and they actually moved me in the right place. Shout out to EA Sports. 
Because that usually happens, but it moves me away from the person and the guy runs for six and then, and then solicits my wife for sex right after. So I was glad to see that he played D, even though it glitched up and I didn't have no control over him. Because that wasn't me. I, you know, I just clicked on him and tried the whole triangle and it like glitched him up in the way and his arm flew out. Um, so, you know, I don't take credit for that. But I thank EA Sports wholeheartedly for it. Um, either way though, just looking at what was going on. Yeah, 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 that's my mom's calling you. What's good? Um, we, we, we have a whole new scheme going. You guys definitely need to be following me on Twitch. You guys definitely need to be following me on Twitter so you know when I go live. And you guys definitely, all you new followers, don't ask me when I'm streaming. Just follow me on Twitch, follow me on Twitter in case you don't get the alert. It'll be posted, you will know. I don't plan it like that because I have other things that are going on and I don't wanna, you know, not keep my word. When things change up around here, and I have more free, you know, more free time to do different things. I will let you guys know. You guys will have a schedule, and everything will be fine. But I don't want to make guys be, you know, waiting on me. I don't like to do that. That's very inconsiderate. To be like, yeah, bro, I'm gonna stream tomorrow. Then I gotta do something late, or you know, meetings and, and stuff like that. And then it just it doesn't work out. So definitely go ahead and give me that follow. I appreciate it. Um, right here, you, as you can see, Mark Barron or Atwater didn't really do anything. Um, obviously, I'm pay I'm playing against Maddie Dry Ice. So I don't know how much time he's gonna, you know, try me over the top and think that I'm Luke Keekly and he can just freaking do whatever he wants to do to me in the bedroom. Um, but, you know, we, we have to see what happens. So I'm gonna punt, I punt them the ball back to give him another chance just to see if they're gonna do anything, if they're gonna make an attempt, you know, to try to do anything at all. And he throws me a pick. Yo, bro, prime Mike, bro, prime Mike, Matt, what, bro, bro, Matty Ice action, bro. Matty Ice, bro, dry ice. That dude is garbage. For all the ATL fans, I wanna know what you think about him. Um, in my previous recaps, if you guys don't watch my NFL recaps where I discuss all the NFL teams on a weekly basis, um, Maddie Dry Ice is a bum. I want to know what you guys think. Let me know. Leave it in the comments. Make sure that you're professional about it. If you're not, you, you, if you're new, you'll know. You'll understand one way or another um, that it, it doesn't benefit you to be a douchebag with anything that I do because I really don't care about your problems or your life. So just be a decent person and uh, we can work it out and you'll have a lot more conversation in the chats and you'll enjoy a lot more of what I have to offer. Um, Either way, he's about to try Atwater for the last one, and Atwater actually knocks it out. And he does the animation to knock it out. So that was good to see that. And that's pretty much where I'm going to leave you off. Um, uh, we saw who got fired, and we saw that we bought Campus Hero, Mark Barron. And we'll see what's to come, man. So join me in my next stream. Follow me on Twitter, Twitch. Like me on Facebook. G Myers World. One love. Happy New Year.